Good morning. This is Sue Ellen Hale with Mary and Martha, and our new catalog just came out. Today is August the 1st, so today is the first day that our new catalog is in effect. And last week, Mary and Martha sent me this book that is one of the new items in our new catalog for fall. It's called Words Are Golden by Allison Golden, and just from looking at the outside, an inspirational journal. I expected it to be kind of like some of our other books that are just to read through and they may have a few questions at the end to think about. Um, this is published by Dayspring. Um, but when I read the back, I was like, hmm. In this interactive journal, you'll find space to to reflect on specific words and explore ways you can use them to bring hope and joy and life to those around you. So it piqued my interest. And I know I read the outside before I ever look inside. <laughs> and then when I opened it up, I was like, oh, this is interesting. It's more like the bigger de um, devotional journals that we have in that it has features focuses on a word and then it has scripture to go along with it and then it has a reading and then it asks questions to get you thinking about the word and the scripture that you've gone through and then it has um, a little interactive page answer the questions and then it gives you some prompts to go through a, um, a prayer and sometimes it has things to trace. Here it is. Look up the verse and write them underneath. And if you know me, I'm real big on scripture writing. So all of these things that were in here, here's one that's trace. Trace the quote from Francis of Assisi. The world is, the world is a great stage on which God displays his many wonders. So um, when I looked into there, there's another thing to trace. I started getting excited because I was like, ooh, I like journaling and scripture writing. So this was um, a pleasant surprise to me. So I just wanted to show y'all what was in the um, this book. And I'm going to read one to you from Words Are Golden by Allison Golden. This is page 92 and the word is freedom. The scripture is Galatians 5.13, For you, my brothers, were called to freedom. Only do not let your freedom become an opportunity for the sinful nature, worldliness, selfishness, but through love, serve, and seek the best for one another. To be set free is to be released from bondage. Jesus came to earth to set us free. When he died on the cross for our sins, he made it possible for us to experience true forgiveness and release from shame. We no longer have to be tied down by our past mistakes. This is what we call freedom in Christ. It's not the type of freedom where we can do whatever is pleasing to us, but the type of freedom that allows us to get back up so we can love others, serve others, and seek the best for others. Our freedom means going and boasting about who Jesus is and what he has done for us. We're to tell people about the freedom we have experienced in Christ so they can experience it as well. It is such a beautiful feeling knowing that we aren't tied to our sin or held down by our past. The chains that held us down for so long have been broken, and now we get to walk in the freedom with Christ. And then questions are, what does freedom in Christ mean to you? Jesus died for your sins so that you could be free. How does that make you feel? How can you walk in that freedom today? What are some things that make you feel free? What does it feel like to be free and then you trace the verse where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom and then name some specific things that christ has set you free from journal them below and declare the freedom you have now from them thank him for setting you free so this is a really neat little book and i did this morning i um did the first one, which was Radiant, and I'll have my prayers. This is the page I colored today. I used my colored pencils to do the tracing. 
So I just wanted to show that to you. It's from the new catalog. Words are Golden by Allison Golden. And I highly recommend this book. I'm enjoying it already. Thank you to Mary and Martha for sending it to me.